Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. When we last left off we went a bit of a walk around. Uh, we've now gone into a temple which seems to be to the dragon or the dragon god of silence. I can't actually remember its name at the moment, but yeah. I'm also we also saw some sort of statues that look like they're gonna kiss, but we're gonna look at that in a minute. I wanna look over here. Big ass door. Hello? What's up? Inquisitor! I was going to send word. I found something. This inscription almost completely faded, but two stood. Felt sixty true before our triumph. A breath in the hunt, and let rest the lowlanders, worthy of the lady's care. The markings and surrounding artifacts date to Ameridan's time. The references and scripts suggest Avar. Go on. What's your theory? I need to complete a full survey and have Professor Kenrick evaluate the site himself. But this may be a tribute to Heron and Orina, Inquisitor Ameridan's companions. Ooh. What about Heron? What do you know about Heron? When the Templar Order was first formed, Sir Heron was among its members. He's arguably the most famous of the original Templars, though he was never one of their leaders. He's better known as one of Inquisitor Ameridan's confidants. They'd known each other since youth. Friends, then. So they were close. Friends. When Ameridan was made Inquisitor, Heron's position in his inner circle was assumed. A few ballads about them survive. The type with adventures and happy endings. <laughs> I don't know if they're true. They remind me of my brothers, though. Okay. Arena? What can you tell me about Arena? Orina was an alchemist in Orzammar. It's said she met Ameridan while dealing with a demon, but it's not known why Ameridan was there. Demons aren't common in the deep roads, but they were a problem for the Inquisition at the time. Orina knew she could help, so she joined Ameridan. If she left Orzammar, that would make her a surfacer. She turned her back on the stone, though it's said she had few regrets. Some claim she was actually from one of Orzammar's noble families, but who can say? She never used her last name on the surface, and once exiled, the family likely struck her name from personal documents. Professor Kenrick petitioned Orzammar's Shaperit to grant access to their records, but the request was turned down. Uh, Dwarves are kind of a private people with that kind of stuff. What makes you think the inscription refers to Heron and Orina? It's only a theory, but the age of the markings and surrounding artifacts match the timeline we've established for Ameridan. I found glass fragments in the clay, several with slight veins of discoloration. Blue. Like Templar artifacts. Templars? The Templars were a new order in Ameridan's time. Given their small numbers then, few would be found outside the Chantry's reach. It's unusual to find one deep in uncharted territory, Unless he traveled here for a purpose, as Heron would have. You don't think the inscription could refer to Emeridan himself? It's possible, but Emeridan would have been recognized as a leader, which the inscription might have noted out of respect. And a breath in the hunt? Why note that your hunt continues unless your remaining prey was someone important? What happened here? An encounter with ancient Avar. And not a friendly one. Ameridan and his companions were outnumbered in an unfamiliar place. If Ameridan's not here, perhaps someone bought him the time needed to keep going? If this is the resting place of Heron and Orina, it only remains because the Avar took time to honor them. Respect for a worthy adversary? It wouldn't be out of place. Okay, where you going now, then? What will you do with this information? Professor Kenrick will expect detailed notes on the location, stone and clay samples, and any trace artifacts I can find. If Ameridan's history is compiled, this could be worth an entire chapter. I might get credit on the inside cover. <laughs> Thank you, Colette. Inquisitor. Well, that was a... Uh, ...an appeal to the Shaper operation. 
The Hunt of the Fell Wolf. Oh, that's a long one. You can pause and read this. Meriden Dragon Hide. Clan Steel. Death of Seal. It's Rhyme. Flea. Beast. Death Breath. Demon Wolf Fell. Jaws of Dragons clamped down tight. Meriden's Armour. No Eye. Beast Head would he would procure whilst the wolf across the moor. The blade arm free, the knight struck true in the monster's eye. The wounded knight, a Meriden all alone, did seek the demon wolf's fresh trail. Haron did valiantly with demon wars contend, as demon stone chanted. A Meriden found Haron stumbling within from the cave, and both rejoiced to find the other yet three from the grave. As night passed into the day, the two did days of valor spin, and to this very day each claims that he alone did win. Okay. Oh, there's another one. A series of details drawings of the inscriptions, glass shards, and surrounding area following a handful follow a handful of neatly written notes. Two stood, fell sixty true before our try at the breath of the hunt. Inscriptions discovered in Devinta ruins within Frostback Basin, not Devinta in origin. Script style and surrounding symbolism mark text as Avar, writing not widespread in holes, places marked by a leader or auger. Few lowlanders known to be in area at the time. Glass in the area likely needs Templar presence. Long past. Samples prepared from Professor Kenrick's opinion. Right. So. What we could do. Because we got that thing. I'm thinking about heading back to Skyhold. So then we could start doing some of these. Uh, missions. Because we got quite a few from here. Operations not missions. And uh, I want to get them done. And then out of the way. So, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to pause, and then when you next see me, we'll be magically in Skyhold. And we're magically in Skyhold now. Let's go do these operations. Up, up, up. Don't mind me, Inquisitor coming through, excuse me. Hello, don't mind me, Invisible could... Josephine. Quick save. And then to the war council. Wonder of wonders. Perhaps they can be useful to us after all. And we're back in. Now, uh, let's see what we got from the ones that we've already done. So, we have this one, Red Jenny attend the party. How do I best describe it? Our noble target was angered by the distraction of our soldiers and an attempt to regain attention accidentally stabbed a revered mother in the hat. Somehow Red Jenny is the assumed benefactor, but we have received several propositions from witnesses to the event. <laughs> wow. Okay, we got this one, speaking Minister Belize. Inquisitor, I have the time and place of the Marquis' party. You must find a way to speak with Minister Belize privately about the ratifying the Du Periquet's return to nobility. It is the last step we need. She holds the success of this entire endeavor in her hands. Okay. Briam. And I think there's one over here, wasn't it? Oh. Right, so. Completed, completed, completed. Making sure all these ones that don't have exclamation points are completed, so I don't have to do them. Right, continuing research. A neatly filed request form, com copied in triplicate and delivered to the appropriate parties. Request tissue samples from carnivores found in Central Olay and on the outskirts of the Western Approach. See attached list, soil samples, areas ground, closed fade rifts. According to field reports containing references to local fauna, a copy of Gregor's Wuthering Haller in the Feather Heather Naturalist Observations Purpose. The commander has expressed satisfaction with the practical applications of my previous findings. To continue my research, I would conduct an in-depth exploration of the Inquisitor's environmental impact, specifically the sealing of Phaedrus on local species. Uh, I think if you send anyone, it's all the same, but... Josephine does the less, but I want to do the ones for the place where we're actually at at the moment. So we've got Skywatchers and Relics and Tobriax. Right, an appeal to the Shape Rift. Whilst historical documents shed light on Orima's time as Inquisitor's and Meriden's companion, little is known of her early life in Orzammar. 
The Orzama shaper it contains uh, immeasurable wealth of knowledge pertaining to the Tykes past. Professor Kenrick has made several requests to study the records, of which were denied. As an ally of the Inquisition, Ozamar may be more willing to answer petition from Skyhold. You can send anyone to this one. Information for information, then. I have reports on Carter activity the King may find interesting. We can send ambassadors to Orzammar to make the request. The right gifts, the right people may expedite the process. Josephine. Do Inquisitor. That. Then we've got send Skywatcher to Stonebell Hall. Skywatcher, the Avar healer we encountered in the Fallow Mire, is evidently respected across many holds as a wise and practical man. He has expressed an interest in seeing Stonebear Hold. Having him pay the hold a visit on behalf of the Inquisitor, Inquisition might garner more respect with them. Yeah, we can send it with anyone. Um, we'll wait for Josephine to come back. But we also got Sin Relics to Turner Bright Axe. The Avar of Stonebear Hold greatly respect Turner Bright Axe, the legendary founder of the Avar. An earlier sketch located the spot where many of Turner Bright Axe's possessions were left. Her body, of course, has been destroyed in accordance with how the Avar deal with their dead. While a weapon, apparently a major staff rather than an axe, may no longer be available, Stonebear Hold would likely appreciate other relics found at the site. Oh! Well, let's show that we know that they have independence, so we'll send Liliana to tell them where we where where the site is so they can find their own things. Inquisitor. Whilst we shall send Cullen somewhere. We'll send him here to get Obsidian. To work? Now we shall leave. We're done here. Sir, slightly approves. Acquired Embryo. Right. Next order of business, let's go get that book. 32 out of 48. They literally just respawn in the same areas. So you can just keep going back and forth and you can collect them all. When you come back. Bunch of them. 35. Anyway, I think we shall head somewhere. Let's go to the Marquis' party. But first, we'll save. And then we shall go. Also, you'll take Barrett, Kendra, Solus, Firm. Whew. Gurgurt, head of Madan Snappy Snips. I shall pause. I mean, your next scene will probably be in a cutscene. I don't know. There we go. Don't worry, I got this. Go on a walk or something. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Pretty much. Tell me, why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? The Du Paraquettes used to be noble. You'd be restoring an old house of Orlais. <laughs> restoring it far too late. What are the Du Paraquettes now? Traders? Farmers? Really, it is too much. The very thought causes me pain. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? 
connections beyond Orlay, value of information, or Inquisition Army. Well, she doesn't seem to have much need for an Inquisition Army. She might need value of information, she might need connections beyond Orlay, but she seems more focused on Orlay, so we'll give her value of information. Information. Unless you believe your sources better than agents of the Inquisition. Normally, I wouldn't trust your discretion. But the left hand of the Divine is working for you, is she not? Sister Leliana is a resourceful woman. I could certainly make use of her talents. Very well, Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain, I shall... raise the Duparaquettes into Lordship. Cool. Oh, that was... easy. You're going to take me straight back to Skyhold, aren't you? I knew it. Is it going to be an instant one or is it going to take a while? Because that loading screen went very quick. Instant. So I've spoken to her, now what? Okay. Josephine, I've done something for you. Your worship. Sup? I must return to Valrayo to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can. Okay. I came all this way and you tell me to go away. Okay, to Valroyo. Um, we'll go to this one because it's close to the edge. Again. I know there was at some point that you could sleep with the judge or whoever the person I just met with was. Where it's like, if you had either a specific backstory or you chose... You had some sort of... Um, other thing like background knowledge I don't know about then you could choose to just go I'll fuck you if you do what I want okay I'll do that hey and it's like oh okay but, uh. this game seems to be suddenly loading very quickly I'm kind of worried very serious we begin we dance for those of Redcliffe we cannot dance. We have lost our feet. You have lost footing, not feet. Six of ones, twice, thrice, another. An ending. Huzzah! I think they're high. Right, so where are we going? We're going to the docks. How do I have to examine that? There's nothing there. Josephine? What's up? I received a letter from the House of Repose, Your Worship. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There is no longer a price on my life. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer. Bards entertain the Orlesian court. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. You seem a bit... 
steady for such an outgoing lifestyle. <laughs> the life of an entertainer didn't suit me at all. During one particular intrigue, I encountered the bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bald threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. You were only defending yourself. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. He seemed willing enough to murder you for the game. Perhaps. I feel I'm the last to judge whether or not he would have actually used the blade. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. Hold on to it. Don't lose sight of why you came here. I will never forget you helped save the House of Montillier, Inquisitor. And should you ever visit Antiva, stories of the welcome we'll give you will be told for years. Okay. Do I get a golden frilly dress like you? Or shirt, or whatever the frick it's called. Pillowcase. <sighs> yeah, I, didn't, I wouldn't have really thought Josephine as a bar. She's way too innocent for that kind of thing. Whoa! Hello, Mr. Ninja. Who the hell are you? Looks like Solus is leveled up. So we shall get him another one of these. Now you can cast Pull of the Abyss more often and more enemies caught in the effect are weakened. Pull of the Abyss now wrenches in enemies quickly enough to damage them. Oh, I don't know if doing this switch is which one it does, but I like... I'm going to leave it on that one because that does more damage. I don't know if that's going to do it, but... Let's do it. Also, we've got some stuff to buy, I think, right? or sell. One of the two. Sell that. This for coal. They'll appoint a new divine soon. Well, I've no beef with the Inquisition, but you will not station here. Colonel's ready. Carry glass, bed, mage circle, drapery. Why are your things so expensive? They're a just decorations. My command says the warden has taken up with the Inquisition. The Inquisition? But they were said to be heretics. The Warden? You mean the Warden from the first game or a different Warden? Nothing new here. Can't buy anything from there. Alright, I think we're done here. So, let's head back. To Here, return to the fisherman over it. I don't want to do that yet. Uh, oh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. So we've got to go get the bear. In order to get the bear, we have to go to this one. Why is the bear running away? Ooh. Ooh, a 
was a creepy picture. And we're back in the room. Okay. So we need to head this way. Onwards we go to a new adventure. One abound with law and order. Get up the mountain, please. Thank you. I wonder what the bear's like anyway. Is it just a normal bear or does it look like a special kind of white bear? This. That's a bird. I thought it was a person at first. Hello. I'm going to ignore you. There's a floating bird. Here. Don't know where the sound effects are, but that usually sorts the problem. A little help. I'm a maid, not a tank yet. Someone fought something big here. It could be that bear the Avar are looking for. If the bear isn't dead, it has to be nearby. How the hell do you know that? There's nothing here. Well, I can see. There also seems to be a cave down there. That's some creepy looking thorns. Be prepared. There's no telling what trouble we'll find down here. Ooh, an artifact. These bones were part of a sacrifice. The jaws of Hakon placed a powerful spell here. It could be blood magic. Let's look for any more skulls. More Philandris. I can get to it. Unless I can't, in which case, fuck you. Cage here. And a, and a torch. Must mean there must be a room nearby. I read that as abandoned Jedi. <laughs> Too much Star Wars. Hello. Give me a minute, please. I would like to keep my thoughts. 
Damn it, you made me lose my torch. To go back outside to get. Oh, hello! Seeing as you're all getting funneled down here, that was a bit of a barrier. Okay. Oh, there the time seems to be going very quickly for this. I don't know why it's suddenly becoming like. Instead of, it said two hours, it's not been two hours. Oh my god, go away! The priest is sacrificed! Jaws of Hakon, destroy them! Oh, this is about the skull. Thanks, I picked up. Hopefully, we can find some more runes, or at least find a rune. Seems to be some sort of ritual thing on the back wall there. Mysteries of the Frostback Basins. Anonymous pile of notes and observations, half diary and half research notes. These parchments had no clear order if they ever did at the top. Someone has written observation of the mysteries of the Frostback Basin and their hidden connections to great secrets buried by the ages. Long ago there would have been that this would have been under the water, until the Devinter drained much of the swamp called us cold stotton to build the prison. Why make a jail so remote? For prisoners they are washed to hide wish to hide. 
Tevinter has made war on Ole many times, but I now believe there is also a secret war between them that the common people are not allowed to see. This prisoner's remainder of the secret war that continues in our time. I speak of Ole's attempts to rouse the Snake Kings of the, of the Earth against Tevinter Alliance with the movement. This is explained in Sir Yik's pamphlets, of which I have read many, which explain things such as why the snakes appear in Devinter drawings and how the snake kings came to exist. Crystals. Did Moon Men have their Devinter allies keep the reptilian ones here so they could interrogate them at a leisure? None can say, but I will say yes that this that would fit my theory. Someone has sketched landmarks the back of one of these papers, a crumbling Devinter wall standing in a shallow marsh, an island in the middle of a river, something that looks like a Devinter prison, and a small Devinter outpost with a terrace on one side and a metal sculpture on the other courtyard. Alright, but we shall stop here. In the next episode we shall be going around this prison apparently, and see if we can find any runes, and to see if we can find the bear as well. Until then, it's Major Shepard, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.